Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Crab Clutch. Today we're going to try our hand at some dollar store candy jars and turn them into pumpkins. I have three of these little candy jars and I got them at the dollar store and they have this nice fitting lid and all I did was clean out the inside with a little rubbing alcohol and I took the tag off the bottom. That's all I've done so far. We are going to turn these into pumpkins and I'm going to do three different versions. If you have scrap pieces of vinyl, like if you have a Cricut, you can use that. That's what I'm using. Or you can use shelf liner if you have that on hand. Whatever will work. All you need to do is just create a face for your pumpkin. And I'm just going to kind of randomly do it. So I'll need six eyes. And you can use your Cricut to cut, but this pretty basic shape, I thought it might look a little bit funner if everything wasn't perfect. All right, and I need three mouths. And, you know, don't worry too much about it because I think anything you do will be fine. So I've cut out my pieces. Now I'm just going to adhere the pieces into the inside of my candy bowl. You could do the vinyl on the outside, but I'm going to do it on the inside. And you'll see why at the end. And if it doesn't work out, I can always go back to doing it on the outside. Okay, so I'm peeling off my vinyl. And these candy dishes have seams on two sides. So you want to put it on the part that doesn't have a seam. Put that right there. Rub it down. Really good. So if you don't have a cutting machine in the vinyl, again, you can use... Um, a shelf liner and the color doesn't matter because we're not keeping it on here. If you do have a cutting machine this is a good way to use up scrap or little pieces of vinyl that you have left over. And I'm just using my fingernail to rub it down. You could use like the side of the, the handle of the scissors to do it. You just want to make sure it is well adhered to the glass. If you have a bone folder, you can use a bone folder. Pay special attention to the edges. That's what we want to make sure is down. Do the same with the eyes and then we're going to add the nose as well. We have the three candy jars with the faces on there and now we get to paint them. I know how I want to do two of them, but I'm not sure what I want to do with the third. So the first one we're going to do orange, and I have this color shifting orange, so that should be interesting to see how that comes out. And I'm doing orange, so all I'm going to do is paint over the whole thing. And it might need two coats. I'm going to assume that it will. This paint is pretty thick, so it's not like I can just pour it in or anything. There's the first coat. Definitely we're going to want to do two coats, but we'll let that dry and come back to do the second coat. But I don't want to forget to do the lid either. And you could do this very top a different color, but I think I'm just going to do it all orange. But you could do the top so it looks like the stem is a different color. I'm just not going to do it that way, but you could. Now we'll set both of these pieces aside to dry and we'll move on to the next one. For this one we're going to do an ivory, but it won't just be ivory. I'll put ivory on there, a metallic champagne, and we have a little khaki going on. So I'm going to take all three of those colors and paint the inside. And we'll have to do this two coats, I'm sure. And we'll do the lid. This last one's going to have a green tint to it, and I have a metallic celadon, this yellow citron, and a metallic champagne. So those three are going to be on this one, and again, I'm sure I'll have to do two coats. Hopefully we'll see all the colors in here. These have dried overnight. Now I'm going to do another coat. I can do another coat on the orange and the green, and this one I'm going to leave because we're going to do a different color on the inside, and I think it might be fun if some of the color showed through on this one especially. So all I'm going to do is put another coat on these. The paint on all our pumpkins has dried, and now I want to do a gold on the inside. You could leave the vinyl inside if you wanted to. But I want the actual eyes on all of these to be gold. So I'm going to peel the vinyl off. 
So I'm going to leave the vinyl on the inside of these because if I try to pull the vinyl off, I actually get the paint pulling off of the glass. So we don't want that to happen. And now we have these cute little black vinyl on there creating the faces. And we are going to paint the inside gold. So what I'm going to do is cover this stuff so when I paint the inside, I don't get paint all over the outside. And should you get, have gotten paint like here or something, don't worry about it. Just scrape it off. You're good to go. I'm going to take some cling wrap and just wrap the pumpkins with it right up to the edge, just like this. So just like this, I'm going to tape around. So now I have this nice and covered and I can spray paint the inside and I'm going to do the same with the other two and also for the lids because I don't want paint on the outside of the lids. And then I'll just take them out to the garage and spray some paint in there. Hopefully you'll be able to see some of the gold coming through on these and hopefully it'll be extra pretty. Now that everything is covered, I'm going to go out to the garage and spray paint the inside with this nice shiny gold. candy jars have dried. I'm just going to cut some of the tape because I think it'll be easier. All right. Here's our green and he's got the gold face. So before, before I show it to you, I'm going to tell you what happened when I spray painted the inside on the light one and the green one, not the one with the color shift paint the faces started coming off, started peeling off. So I peeled them off and now they have gold eyes and mouth. And they look okay, you can keep them that way. I don't love it as much as the black. I think I started to really like the black. I'm gonna take that back. I think I really like the gold on the beige pumpkin, the champagne colored pumpkin. I like the gold on there a lot, but I don't think I like it so much on the green because you lose it a lot. So I'm just gonna take some vinyl and put it on the outside and cover up what's there. And these smeared a little bit too, and this one stayed nice and crisp. And here is the orange where the vinyl stayed in place. But they all have the gold on the inside. These, are, these two are smoother. This one is less smooth because the paint was less smooth. And then we have our lids that pop on just like this. If you end up with a little overspray like I did here, just take a razor blade or your craft knife and just scrape it right off. There's the white. That one looks pretty cute. I have to get rid of the overspray, but I do like the combo with the gold on this one. And then here's the orange, which is very bold. And this is the color shift. So you can kind of see purple sometimes and orange depending on the direction you're looking at. So that's pretty neat as well. And this one, I'm gonna have to do a new face on this guy just with some vinyl, and that's no big deal. So here they are, and you can use them as either candy jars, or certainly you can use them as votives with like an electric candle. And should any of this stuff end up peeling off because you're taking the lid on and off, all you have to do is put a ribbon on the outside and you'll never see it. And it will look like a little decorative addition. But so far, so good. I've opened and closed them several times and the paint has not come off. And here it is with a candle and it'll be reflective on the gold. Kind of cute either way. Let me know which one is your favorite, if you like the orange, the beige, or the green. And remember, again, you don't have to... Have the vinyl on the inside if you don't want to. You can do it after the fact on the outside, or you can try to do it with the gold this way where it is the paint on the inside, or you can get some gold vinyl and do it on the outside as well. It's easier not to do it on the inside, um, and I think it looks great either way. I hope you guys like the pumpkin candy jars, and I hope you give them a try. Very inexpensive project, and you can customize it to be any color that you want. Who says you have to be traditional? 
Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.